All right, guys, so the Goodwood Festival of Speed is obviously saturated in modern day cars, but it's really important that we don't forget the old stuff because after all, that's where it's all come from. So I've jumped over now to the other side of the paddock and we're gonna check out some really juicy historic stuff. Let's do it. important that we don't ignore the history of where all of this has come from. I'm stood here with Dickie from Williams who's just informed me that he's been with Williams since 1985? 1985. 1985. So there's no one better here to tell me the history of these cars. So Dickie, what are, are we standing next to? Well we're standing right next to the Kecky Rosberg 1983 Williams FW08. This is the first of the non ground effects cars out of the ground effects system of a band. Wow. As a Cosworth V8 uh, 3 litre yeah. and straightforward uh, racing power really. Fantastic. Aluminium monocoque, carbon fibre, just come in. The wings are carbon fibre but everything okay. else is fibre glass. So these rules then, were, were they apply when things were getting a bit too Yeah, you know, they, crazy? Yeah, they, they were trying to slow the cars down so the FIA at that time decided to ban ground effects. So okay. this is what you have. Right. So this then really is quite an organic and driving this, experience. This is really. purely an engine bolted to the back of a car with a gearbox on the back of the engine. That's Pretty it. Hardcore. Yeah, hardcore. It's so very in these hard. days, this is the kind of car that was really separating the men from the uh, boys. These, yeah? these are the cars that you would see sideways in the Odette One films. Fabulous. And so. In your time with Williams Martini, have you got any sort of highlights? I mean, that's a, that's a long time I've got, got loads of highlights yeah. from the early Nigel Mansell days through to the, yeah. the second time Nigel came back, and then Damon yeah. Hill, Jack Villeneuve, Montoya, yeah, Schumacher's. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so really it's just endless, isn't it? It's yeah. endless. You know, I was yeah. there for the best, let's say the best years as we call them, the yes. World Championship yeah. years, yeah. so yeah. enjoyed it all the way through. Yeah, this is the uh, 1990 uh, FW13. Yeah, it's actually the race winning chassis uh, from Hungary with uh, Terry Boosten driving it. This car was in storage from 1990. Yes. And we got it out last year and did a total rebuild. Wow. And uh, brought it to Goodwood Festival of Speed. You know, the amount of history you're know, walking past, it, it's so easy to just you know, glance past it all. But when you get talking to people like yourself about cars like this, you know, good would you be on for two weeks, really? Because you need that amount of time you to, to take it all on board, you, don't you? You need more than one day. Absolutely. You yeah. know, you do need two to three days to actually yeah. see everything properly. Well, so I've been here four days, and I'm still scratching the uh, surface. So this, for me, is actually my sixth Goodwood, and I'm still taking it all on board. You know, it's still uh, very new, but uh, thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you very much. My pleasure, and let's uh, check out some more cars. corridor here looks a little bit unassuming but if I point you out here this is something I've wanted to do in the five years that I've attended Goodwood this is the famous balcony of Goodwood House We've got a fantastic martini bar set up here and as you can see you can look over the whole event right here in terms of an opportunity and a vista of the festival of speed this is absolutely fantastic beautiful place in the last few days i've had some bucket list moments ticked off 
Not to mention, I've just been with Williams Martini Racing, standing next to some legends F1 cars. We've just seen Damon Hill's winning race car. And right now, the guys at Martini have just been super kind and invited me up to the Goodwood balcony to finish off the festival. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Ciao.